Hello and welcome to this video on the bead inspection tools in InSight Vision Suite. With the release of InSight Vision Suite 25.1, bead inspection tools are now available in Spreadsheet. The bead inspection tools allow you to train and inspect bead paths for 2D applications. To get started, let's open our spreadsheet job in InSight Vision Suite. Setting up our application has two phases. First, we need to define the bead path by training. Then we will inspect the bead path. To begin, navigate to the Vision Tools in the Functions window. Next, we will choose the cell where we would like to add the Train B function, then double-click the Train B function. In the Property Sheet for Train Bead, double-click on the bead sample location. This will display your application image. In this window, we need to define the region of interest for the bead. When setting your region of interest, keep the bead in the center of the circle. Press Enter to confirm your choice. Next, in the property sheet, we will select Find Bead Paths. This option will automatically generate multiple bead paths. You can choose between the bead paths to find the best fit path. You need to click out of the selected bead path section to update the path. You can also make adjustments to the bead path by clicking Edit Found Bead Path at the bottom of the property sheet. To add or remove nodes from the bead path, right click on the bead path. You can also adjust the width of the subregions by clicking and dragging the edges. Click Enter to save your changes. To finalize the reference bead path, click Train Bead Path in the Property Sheet. Click OK to exit the Property Sheet. Now that training is done, we can move on to inspecting the bead path. Choose an open cell in the spreadsheet to add the tool and double-click Inspect Bead. In the property sheet for Inspect Bead, double-click Train Bead and select the cell in the spreadsheet that contains the Train Bead path. Click Enter to save your changes. Under Defect Limits in the property sheet, you can adjust the percentage the bead can vary from the Train Bead path. You also have the option to add a mask to the inspection area by clicking Edit Fill and Mask Areas. This option allows you to remove areas of the inspection area from the bead inspection. Clicking OK will take us back to the spreadsheet. In this window, we can monitor any defects by the inspection. Defects will populate in the list. By default, only the first 10 defects will be displayed. For additional information on the Bead Inspect tools, follow the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.